Genesis to Revelation in the Bible, yeah. dating's not in there anywhere. I really believe that the way we date today does not train us or prepare us for a healthy marriage. It trains us systematically for divorce because since the fifth grade, we get in a relationship. Everybody's talking about, you know, who likes who and we're in a relationship with them until we don't like them anymore and then we end it, right? Or until our emotions or our feelings of faith. This is like divorce 101. Like if I was going to brainwash somebody toward how to have a divorce later in life, you really would just have them date the way that we do. What's wrong with dating today is we prioritize the wrong things. Physical attraction is ultimate. It's all about chemistry and and common interest and those kinds of things. Dating is a, is, is a relatively new idea. It's about 120 years old. The word entered the English language as a euphemism for prostitution. It's a true story. People don't mm. realize that. To go wow. on a date meant to exchange sexual favors for an experience, which honestly, that's the root of the word and still very much the way that the world dates. I'm interested in this guy. I don't know if he's interested in me. I don't want to spend a lot of time wondering. I may just ask him. I will say this right here. Sometimes you are choosing your problems. When you take initiative, you may not get to see how much initiative he's willing to take, meaning he might be really apathetic in life and not have a lot of ambition or drive. And that may be why he didn't ask you out or take the first step. And so in doing so, you might be choosing your problems. You need to be aware of that. Date for as you know efficiently and effectively as you can. It's a good thing that you guys want to come together physically. Like that's a great thing. And you really don't want to restrain that for like three or four or five years. Like people tell me, well, we've been dating for four years. I'm like, that sounds miserable. Yes. Why? Would you do that? I'm not a fan of dating for a really long time. Don't date alone in places where there's no accountability. Have sisters that will ask you, that love you, that will say, hey, I know you went out with John tonight. You know, are, are you home? How did it yeah. go? Mm -hmm. And, you know, mm -hmm. were you guys pure? Like, did you did you honor the Lord in, in the things that you did and said and thought? The proverb says, whoever hates correction is stupid. Mm -hmm. There's so many of us that we don't like correction. We don't want accountability. We don't want yeah. other people speaking into our lives when the scripture calls us to that and it's for our own good if he is a god-fearing man and you're not attracted to him i would begin to ask god to search your heart like lord why am i not attracted to what you find attractive god why don't i look at what you look at you know why am i looking for a six-pack or or you know an md a, a medical degree or why do i value these worldly things dimples or whatever how do i find attractive god what you find attractive